The reigning America East champion Albany Great Danes are next up in our men's basketball previews as the number three pick in the preseason poll. The Great Danes finished fifth in the America East standings last year, but then ran off three straight wins in March to become the lowest seeded team ever to win an America East title. Head coach Will Brown, who is the longest tenured head coach in the America East in his 13th season, sat down with Eric Freed to preview the upcoming season. America East tip off now with the head coach of the defending America East champions. He never gets tired of hearing that, Will Brown from U Albany. Although, have you, are you in this mode of telling you guys we, haven't, we don't have anything, you put the trophy away and all that stuff, or are you still allowing them to embrace the championship? No, on? new team, new season. <laughs> You're moving on? Yeah, we're moving oh, come on. Come on, man. enjoy we're it a little on. bit. These guys got need to create their own identity, but um, you know we enjoyed it throughout the spring. And you know once we got together as a team in the summertime, uh, it was business as usual. Just looking forward to uh, the new season. Because you have so many guys back from last year, I do want to ask you about how last year came together. Because it seemed like maybe more than another year, and you'll correct me as you normally do if I'm wrong, that you had a long view. That it wasn't like there were some big dips last year, but it seemed that you really had that kind of focus on March, tournaments at our place kind of view, and it really paid off for your group more than any other Yeah, year. you know, we looked at it as a marathon, not a sprint, and I think what happened is uh, we had a pretty good non-conference season, and then we had a uh, three-game uh, skid uh, during the conference play where we lost that tough game to BU at home, and then we followed it with losses to Stony Brook and Vermont, and after that uh, point, we kind of uh, regrouped. Uh, we changed our lineup uh, a little bit, and we talked about getting better every day, and at that point, we realized we weren't going to win the regular season title, so we put all of our emphasis on getting better for the America East Conference Tournament. We wanted to be healthy, we wanted to be fresh, and we wanted to be playing our best basketball, and I thought we really were down the stretch. Going into the conference tournament, I felt that uh, we had a legitimate chance to win this whole thing and uh, you know it helps when you have uh, you know a good staff and really tough tough kids uh, you know playing for you and um, you know I'm proud of them. You lose a couple of those tough kids and Mike Black who is the Reggie Lewis most outstanding player Jacob Yachty made so many big shots mm -hmm. uh, for you but you have so many guys back who tell us since we last saw you guys in March how your core players have kind of developed here and, and gotten their games where you know they need to take it to a next level. Yeah, you know, obviously losing uh, Mike Black and Jacob Yadi, two big losses for sure, but we do have a, a nice group coming back. Um, you know, re we really had six starters last year when you include Hooley and four of those guys, uh, you know, are back, I think. Late in the year, last eight games in conference play, Sam Rowley was as good as any player in the league. I think he's a matchup problem. We went to him early and often in games. Uh, uh, most games, we said, hey, we're not shooting the ball until he gets a touch. Uh, you know, Hooley was terrific for us, all rookie player. Uh, John Puck's going to end up being a four year starter at center, uh, experienced, um, is going to have a good year. Gary Johnson, we started the last 10 games of the year, and in my opinion, if he would have played, uh, you know, 16 games for us in conference play at 25 minutes a night, would have been on the all defensive team in our league. So the pieces that we're returning, uh, we're really excited about. Some guys will have to step up and embrace new roles, but the nucleus uh, is good. Uh, uh, you know, our new, the new players we're excited about, uh, you know, but again, uh, we learned a lot from last season and that's to remain patient, that lineups can change and don't be afraid to change them if you think it's in the best interest of your team. And uh, we did change our lineup, I think about four times throughout the year, that last group uh, heading down the stretch, um, you know, that was the group. You mentioned the word before, toughness, and it seems when you mentioned the guys who are coming back, that seems... It, is that a common thread and a common theme with some of these guys that coming back that they've got that toughness? Low maintenance, tough, <laughs> uh, hard nose, play the game the right way, play for the right reasons, um, you know, want to uh, make their coach happy and keep them happy, which uh, isn't always easy. Um, but you know, it was probably the easiest group uh, for me to coach and that's probably why when we lost uh, I took it uh, harder than any other year when we lost games just because they gave me everything they had every single day and they really did want to please me, uh, you know, and 
uh, like Jacob Yachty um, epitomizes what a leader is all about. Um, all he wanted to do was win. And, you know, we'd go into halftime uh, if we were down or we were struggling. I would just wait outside the locker room for, you know, two or three extra minutes and I'd hear him screaming, chairs being thrown. <laughs> and uh, there's all 5'9 of Jacob Yachty. The kid was a winner. He just wanted to win. So I think the biggest thing for us this year is you're not going to replace Jacob but who can help embrace that leadership role and just not care what anybody thought, just, you know, led because they wanted to win and win badly. And that, that's uh, what we're trying to find right now. I'm a basketball junkie. Um, I watch games year round. I'll watch games from last year uh, on certain channels late at night, one in the morning, there'll be a game, a Mountain West Conference re rerun on. And I'm watching it and I watch certain situations. I watch certain coaches. I watch styles of play. I'm always trying to improve as a coach and get better, uh, learn new drills, new ideas, not try to reinvent the wheel, but just try to get better at at my craft. I think sometimes uh, we as coaches can get too comfortable in our positions and, and I'm always trying to get better as a coach uh, and I think I have gotten better and I think there's a, a lot of areas I can still continue to improve. Worked out pretty well last year. Third championship in America East. Good luck this coming year. Thank you very much. Will Brown, head coach for UAlbany here at America East Tip-Off.